always told my mom that I really want to have a house near the beach and my mom said that it's impossible because we live in mountainous area and the, the beach is quite far from our city, it took eight hours. Now I have my dream comes true, I live near beach. My kids love to play with the sands and sometimes they're pretending to be a mermaid, cover the legs with the sand, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Stories are important to me because I always believe that through storytelling, we cannot only entertain the listener or the readers, but through the stories, we can also educate people. And in this case, in my case, it's young people. Hello. Good morning, everyone. I always love working with kids. And one of my specialty, and actually my master degree, it's about uh, English language teaching One, two, for young three. children. Wombats too, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombats too. From my like master degree that I learned that storytelling is really, really good for teaching kids. Feathers, dingo smile, that would be chewy. Right now, I'm, I have go. this opportunity to do my so, PhD research. So I would like to explore how storytelling can work better in my, in my context That's in true. Indonesia. Good. You like? <laughs> in my study, every PhD student in School of Education, let's say, that we are allocated a desk and we share a room with other students. Hello, hi, good morning. Hi, hi. Good morning. So that they, when we discuss, they can give me some perspective from different angles. It can build my critical thinking. So it's good if we can make them to work in groups. The interaction with them, it's not only about the academic matters because I also get a chance to know the culture of people from different countries. Whenever I have a chance to visit school, I'm representing Indonesian culture to high school students. And I really love working with the students as well because it gave me idea how teenagers in Australia interact with, with, with others, especially with international students and whose English is not really fluent. And it's a very good opportunity. Ramadan is a special month where we can't eat and drink during the day. And usually in Indonesia, we have a um, tradition where we do the iftar. Iftar is a kind of dinner where we break our fasting. And I think I really, really miss my home during the Ramadan. But there are many Indonesian students in UOW and we sometimes get together during the Ramadan to bring the flavor of Indonesian way in doing the iftar. And we can also give ideas to our kids that even though we are far away from home, but we still can keep our Indonesian tradition in doing the Ramadan, especially during the iftar. In, in many parts of Indonesia, the kids will never be able to see people speaking English. But through storytelling, they can really see that English is a language that they can use. So that's what I would like to bring to Indonesia, that uh, storytelling to the kids so that they will learn um, literacy much better. <laughs>